What's up guys, Scott from Axe Overland. So today, I need to take some diesel out of my AEV fuel caddy and put it in the Jeep. All right, so one thing that I struggle with when I go to the gas station sometimes is getting the the fuel pump to stay on basically so I'll put the handle in there and squeeze it and it'll keep wanting to shut off you'll find the right spot I don't know if it's a Jeep thing it's the only thing I've ever really noticed every once in a while everything will line up right and it'll just work but it's definitely easier to fill up this than it is the tank so I usually try to make sure that when I get below a half a tank I go ahead and top up with this just so that way the gas or diesel in this case isn't staying in here for very long so uh, AEV give you this uh, siphon shaker hose uh, basically it's got a marble inside of the brass bit and you shake it and it starts the siphon process so this is the bag that it comes in and I just keep putting it back in the bag because it just keeps diesel off everything else and it seems to be holding up pretty well so anyway um, so again we'll pop this off and then uh, we'll get started put the loose end without the siphon shaker into the tank and again people may do this differently but this is the way I do it and it works for me you just pop this up here and then you'll see the diesel start to come through. There we go, and it's running. So, just for fun, set the timer and see how long it takes. So here we go. All right, so it took about seven and a half minutes. Now, one thing that I did mess up is I didn't have the, the hose in there far enough, so I had to re-siphon it and put it right down to the bottom. So when you get it going, make sure you just push the hose all the way down to the bottom of the fuel caddy, and you won't have that problem. But still, seven and a half minutes to transfer 10.2 gallons or thereabouts, it's pretty good. Now, as far as taking this thing out, the way that I do it, again, is get a bit of paper towel or kitchen roll or whatever you want to call it, and go out this side. Try not to leak it everywhere. And then let it all drain into the tank, obviously. As you're rolling it up, I just kind of try to clean some of the diesel off of it. Make sure it all drains in there. And that's it. Like I said, I'll wipe it off a little bit and dispose of this properly. And then uh, put it back in a plastic bag and we're good for the next time. See that it does make a little bit of mess if you're not careful like i wasn't so we'll clean all that up but uh that's it though it's just basically the shaker siphon put it in there and just dive it up and down a few times and get it started and make sure you push it right to the bottom of the fuel caddy uh, if you want to see how i installed the fuel caddy the video will be over here and also buzz special vehicles installed the tire carrier so that video will be down here so check those out as well and uh, we'll see you out there